Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to be vlogging a little bit and taking you guys along our journey of how we keep track of where we travel and how we like to sort all of our memories out. Nicholas is actually heading out the door. Hi, guys. So, he isn't going to be here for the little video, okay. but I will carry on without him. So this video idea was actually sparked by a Christmas present that I received this year. My brother and his new wife got me this Scratch Your Travels map, which I thought was so cool. I've never seen or heard of anything like this. So one way that we will start to track our travels and how we know where we've been is this really cool map. It starts off like this. And then as you go places, you take a coin and scratch off the place and then it will turn into a beautiful picture. As you can see on the back here, it starts off like this and then it ends like this, which is really fun and a super cool way to track everything and be able to show where you've been. It's kind of like, I don't know if anyone else had this, but as a kid, I had a map with slots for quarters and you could collect all the state quarters so that was really cool to have all different quarters from different states. This kind of reminded me of that which brought back good memories as a child. But before I got this gift there were other ways that I like to document our travels. Number one is a little book like this. This is a moleskin book but you can use any type of journal or notebook and I like this because it's pretty small and it has lots of space to write in it. It's pretty thick and then has a nice little thing to keep it closed. So this is just one of my favorite books, but I like to use this for any place that I'm traveling that I want to remember specific things. So I can just carry this in my bag with me at all times, especially if I know that I'm going to make a video or a blog post on something and I want to talk about specifics like prices at restaurants or what I ate there. So I can specifically remember what I did or had there. So this is more of a on the go what I document my travels while I'm there and then unless I forget something then I'll add it later. But when I get home my favorite thing to do is to take all the photos and put them on the computer and then make books out of them. So this was what we made for Italy and I used Shutterfly for this so it was super easy. You can put as many pictures on a page and you can even put writing which is really nice. And this was fairly cheap, they always have sales, so this was a great option. But I also always just love to do books, so I actually made two for Italy because I made the Shutterfly one, and I also like to print out individual pictures, and this is my favorite way of keeping them, is just in a book like this. This one actually has sticky pages, so you peel back the plastic and then just stick the photos on and then put the plastic back on. I like this way because you can take the pictures out and put them back in if you need to take a picture out for something, whether it's to show someone or bring it somewhere you don't want to bring the whole book. I really like this way. Also, then you just have every picture forever and if you ever wanted to put them back on the computer because you lost them, then you could scan them. So it's super easy. This is a more simple version if you don't want to have to individually stick and place all of the photos in perfect order. This is just one that you can slide photos in the side. There you go. And this one's super easy and has a little place to write as well. I haven't actually written in this one, but it's cute and has a little picture on the front so you can remember which book is for where. So those are my favorite ways to document travel, journals, photo books, and now this scratch a map, which is super cool. And I'll try to leave a link below if I can find something like it. I'm sure there's a website on here and you guys can check it out as well. As I mentioned when I talked about my journal, I love to make blog posts as well. Clearly we like to make videos, that's what this channel is all about, but blog posts are super fun and I try to link them as much as I can below the videos that they have to go with. But blog posts are more of like a diary online that you can go back and cherish all the memories. You can add photos, which is a little bit different than my journal. I don't put pictures in here. I guess you could, but there's not a good way to put them in here. So. With my blog, I like to put pictures and writing so then I can have a full documentation of our trips. A good substitute for the journal if you forgot it in your hotel room or you just don't want to carry it around is to just use the notes on your phone and type in things that you want to remember that you'll document in a better place when you get back, whether that's the computer or the blog. 
So I hope you guys like this little vlog style video about how we document our travels. If you have any good recommendations for different ways that we could document our travels or just your unique way of how you document your travels or just any day in general, it doesn't have to be traveling. I like to document everything just so you can always look back and remember all the good times that you've had. Let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time. Bye. I know what you've been down thinking about him again. I know that your heart's been broken. You should try and let it go and start being yourself. You.